What is up guys, it is Serval here and uh, welcome to the second video of the day. We are still in the FIFA 13 career mode, this is episode 131 and today we start off our league campaign. We have the first game away against Valladolid and uh, then we have a home match uh, against Valencia so that's going to be a big big game. Hopefully we can get off to a good start in the league but I just want to mention that this is the second video of the day. I'm going to steal a phrase from Air JPC for here, I'm going to go for a free pack Saturday. So there is going to be three videos today, uh, the third one will be coming later so I appreciate guys, I, I would appreciate you guys uh, uh, if you could like, if you could get each video to 10 likes, it would show me that you guys really do uh, enjoy the content that I'm putting out for you. And it would encourage me to, to do another three-pack video uh, next week. So yeah, three-pack Saturday, that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, totally stealing the phrase from Japes, but oh well. Just don't give me a copyright strike. Let's go. We get on. Uh, we get our season underway. Diego Alves with the first very key intervention there to uh, to start things off before Rakitic goes forward, finds himself in a forward position here, uh, swings it in for Boney to head, and unfortunately he can't quite do it. And Navas' shot was not up to par, uh, although it did force the keeper into a very good save. And uh, already we've started off the game very promisingly. Uh, Boney here picks up the ball. He's going to thread it out wide to Jesus Navas. Navas is going to go for a little run down the wing. Uh, he's then going to try and cross it in, but unfortunately Rakitic cannot direct the head of goalers even though he beat the defender in the air uh, well the huge lump he is I expect him to beat anyone in the air um, unfortunately Valladolid had a chance here and it was a very good chance and they did capitalize on it Michael there just picking up the ball from the loose Diego Alves uh, parry and he managed to finesse it very uh, very coolly, you know, very calmly into the uh, into the bottom corner. And we move on. We're already 1-0 down in the 27th minute. And this is a position I haven't been in before. So I need my strikers. I need my new teammates, uh, my new players um, to come up big. And I want, I need the team to work for each other. And Wilfred Boney was having a lot of trouble going forwards. Uh, no one was giving him the right service, you know. And I very much felt that we lost the game in the midfield this uh, um we lost the fight in the midfield, sorry, this game. And, you know, for that reason, you know, we couldn't put our passes in and we kept trying to go out wide and feed it in and it wasn't working every time because the fullbacks knew what we were doing and we kept losing the ball too much. So, for me, um, it all came from the midfield. You know, Rakitic and... Uh, uh, I, I can't remember who my other midfielder was. I think it might have been... Um, uh, you know what, I think, I, I can't remember who it was, I'm really sorry guys, I can't remember who my other midfield was, apart from Medell who is in the defensive midfield position, um, Rakitic and the other guy did not feed the pass as well, and uh, it actually led to another goal being put in, but thankfully this time he was offside, so you know, we didn't have much to worry about, although, you know, we could have been 2-0 down at this point in time, and the second half did just did not get better for us. Uh, they went through and scored in the 66th minute a second goal. And at this point, I'm thinking, you know what, nothing's going right for me. Let's make some substitutions, see what we can do uh, in the midfield area. Uh, so I bought off Rakitic and I bought off the wingers as well because they weren't doing much good uh, for Ben Khalifa, Luis Alberto, and I think Campania was the other one. And it did change the game a little bit. You know, we kept going forwards a little bit more. Um, so maybe I should have done these substitutions earlier. Wilfred Boney had a massive chance there, but a big save from the keeper to keep his team in the game. And uh, Keep a clean sheet. And then again, Diego Alves had to uh, pounce on a loose ball across his six-yard box. That could have been a goal as well. Um, but really, we were outplay outplayed and outclassed off the field in every area. Not just the midfield, but you know, especially in the midfield for me. So uh, it looks like I might need another central midfielder to uh to you know to get in there and uh and sort of play the passes you know add a little bit of oomph into the team when he comes on you know maybe a super sub is what i'm looking for not not anyone too big but of course we last episode we went for kyle walker on the transfers an 82 rated right back only 26 years old of course i'm gonna want him i give him ninety thousand five years Oh, 80,000, five years. The full one, 20%, crucial first-team player. I want him to come and stay at Sevilla for five years, at least in the long term. And, uh, yeah, Newcastle don't want Fazio. I've set too big of a price tag. And this guy um, is going to be loaned out to Rayo Valen Vallecano to, uh, for the season because I want him to improve. He's one of my scouted players, of course. Um... We move straight on. Wilfred Boney had an alright first game. Unfortunately, he did not. Uh, he wasn't able to score. Aaron Cresswell also had his debut in that game. And um, amongst others, so did Devridge. Uh, I'm going to reject the offer for Luna here that came in because I want him as my substitute left back. Um, I accept. Kyle Walker accepts the contract offer. And, of course, I'm going to sign him. He is now our fifth summer signing. <laughs> Huge players coming in, guys. Uh, the likes of Devridge, the likes of Kyle Walker, the likes of Boney. Uh, players that can change games change seasons you know um so yeah um i the other guy my the other scout player wanted uh wanted a loan uh to some spanish team so of course i said yeah go for it um i'm also gonna try and offer 
um, Tchaikovsky and a, a little bit of money for Nana Welbeck. Nana Welbeck is a fantastic player, only 21 years old, 77 rated, and um, he is so, so quick. He is so, so quick for a midfielder, that, that is. Um, but we move into the next game against Valencia, and we want a big comeback. So I played Ben Khalifa in the middle. I choose to sit Wilfred Boney out this game, um, but I do also give Kyle Walker his debut, so hopefully that should stabilise the defence, uh, make sure that we don't get caught out pace-wise, and uh, also position-wise. You know, Kyle Walker is a very good... Uh, right back when it comes to positioning uh, himself in the right areas. Um, unfortunately, they do have off with the first chance there. Diego Alves diving wildly to try and save it, but I, you know, it wasn't on target, and I think it was a, very much a Hollywood dive. Before Cresswell played a fantastic through ball to Parati. Parati has the first chance in a long time to show how quick he is. Uh, he is actually quite quick. He crosses it in for Jesus Navas, but the keeper makes a fantastic intervention. Uh, Navas gives Rioso Lozano the ball. Um, <coughs> sorry there, I had to cough. Um, and unfortunately, you know, it doesn't come to a goal, but we start off promisingly. Rakitic with a screamer, and unfortunately, the keeper manages to parry it out for a corner, and we do take the corner. Navas is going to whip this one in, and no, Rakitic is actually going to whip this one in, and unfortunately, we can't find a header home. Oh, but, you know, you can tell that we are very much pumped for this game. We do very much want the win, and that's what I want to see after last episode. How did Ben Khalifa miss that? Well, actually, the defender intercepted it, but how? These stupid Spanish defenders and keepers just never seem to let a goal in, you know? I was struggling so much. You can see it's still the first half, and we've had all these chances, and they haven't had one. Uh, but we kept passing the ball around their, um, around their penalty area in their final third, trying to find a way through. And uh, even Cresswell got involved here, giving it to Medell. Medell is going to uh, make it make himself a little bit of space before finding my free agent, who is going to go through and have a strike on goal. Oh no, fake shot, cut back inside. And unfortunately, he gets shut down. But Cresswell manages to pick up the ball here. He's going to come out wide, cross it in. And oh my god, my free agent manages to, uh, to have a shot. Unfortunately, it was straight at the defender. Parati picks up the ball and fires one. And the keeper pulls off another save. Just look at how big that highlight was. And we're still going. Another corner. Ben Khalifa being the target. But Rakitic could not find a good cross. And they go on the counter-attack. But nothing comes to it. We nick the ball pretty quickly. Bedell here giving it through to Jesus Navas. Who's going to get there ahead of the defender. He cuts inside and finally has a rocket home. And unfortunately, it hits the post. What is this? We cannot score. Um, but I said to the lads at halftime, I said, we're having a good game. Sorry, guys. That was my phone we're having a good game i hope we can carry on the same way and we did parati with the first double chance of the ma of the uh, of the match in the 70th minute the keeper pulls off a fantastic double save to keep his team in the game and we're still nil nil we're still nil nil i cannot believe it rakitic uh, having a long range effort but that was never really going to go in i did decide to make some substitutions i'm going to tell you right now there they are the three that i made and uh, you know it didn't really change much of the match but then look at this boney came on and boney is going to score. Yeah. Yeah. 87th minute sweaty goal to start off the season scoring. And Wilfred Boney manages to get his first goal for his new club. What a fantastic player he's going to be. Even then, by the way, the keeper managed to get a hand to that. If the keeper had saved that, I would have thrown my computer out the window. No, no word of a lie. <sighs> but... You know, I can't say that we didn't deserve it. We we probably should have won by more than one. Uh, in the end, it was it was all thanks to Wilfred Boney that wanted us to win, and it was a very important goal. So we can tell already that he's going to be a key player for us. Um, uh, obviously, uh, here I can't remember. Celta Vigo they accept the offer that we made for Nana Welbeck, uh, two point five plus Tchaikovsky. So I give them the uh, I give Nana Welbeck the contract that he wanted, and uh, you know hopefully he can move to Sevilla and be a great great player. Liverpool want Federico Federico Fazio even, and I go Liverpool. You're Liverpool. I want a little bit more money, four million. And you know what? They came back to me and said no, no, we're not going to give you four million. No. But we do sign Anna Welbeck, which means that I can use him as a super sub in the midfield when I need to. He has good vision and a lot of pace. Um, but Liverpool didn't want to give me four million, and I saw that this wasn't going to go well. So I just, I, I was just like, yeah, three point seven will do. Uh, so Fazio is on the way out. One of our centre halves is on the well, another centre half is on the way out. But Nana Welbeck, oh Nana Welbeck will, um, he will prove to be such a good player. Uh, he he plays some really good passes. So he has some really good runs. He reminds me a lot of Ramirez. Um, if any of you have ever played Ramirez in Ultimate Team, not in career mode because it's a little bit different in career mode, Ramirez in Ultimate Team is such a good player. Nano Welbeck feels exactly like that. He really does. He makes the runs that Ramirez makes. He just reminds me so much of him. Um, but Juventus do win the Copa Europe, which means that they have beaten Porto. Um, 
obviously Porto won the Champions League. Oh no, Porto won the uh, Liga of Europa and um, Juventus won the Champions League. But here is the league table. After our defeat, we're actually in 13th position. Um, but the table is not like no one has a lead at all actually and only two points separate Sporting Gijon who are surprisingly early leaders um only two points separates them from the rest of the pack really and uh you know it's still very early days so guys I want to thank you for watching there will be another video out today like I said it is going to be a three pack Saturday so if you can please show your support give uh, give this video 10 likes give the previous video previous uh, previously uploaded 10 likes and give the next video 10 likes. I would very much appreciate it, guys. Um, it does show good support and it does encourage me to keep making videos. Yeah! Um, I do have some big plans for the channel in the future, but I'll talk about them in another video. So next up is going to be another episode of Career Mode, like I said. Uh, so I'll see you guys later.